I want to bring you guys a story that I ran across in the news, and I'm not sure if you guys heard this story about this woman and this baby right here, okay? Now, the mother's name right here, her name is Victoria Jackson, and she told a friend that she smothered her own baby boy to death, okay? Then tried to pass it off as a tragedy according to the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. So again, we have another case where mothers are lying over their kids. And that is a beautiful little boy. I want y'all to take a look at that photo. That is a beautiful, smiling little boy. Probably could have been anything in this world. And he was robbed of an opportunity of that by way of that creature on my screen. Okay. Now, months after a Florida mother raised more than $4,000 for her son's funeral expenses, after his tragic death, she allegedly confessed to killing him. And I'm more led to believe that that is fact over anything else, okay? Again, her full name is Victoria Grace Jackson, 24 years old of Clearwater, Florida, and was arrested on a first degree murder charge recently after she admitted to killing her own son. And let me get that picture back up on the screen so you guys can see that little boy's face right there. He was 10 months old and his name was Malachi Jackson. This is back in May, according to an arrest affidavit. Now the mother had called 911 to report that she found her son unresponsive in his crib on May the 24th. Malachi was transferred to a nearby hospital where life-saving measures were performed, but it was too late and he was pronounced dead the exact same day. The child died in May, but it wasn't until just recently that the police arrested the mother, again, her name is Victoria Jackson, on a charge of first degree murder. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the law, but whenever they charge you with first degree murder, that is a very strong charge that could usually end up leading to the death penalty or definitely life in prison if you're convicted of that charge. And if they charge you with that, they believe that they have a good uh, case to present to the judge and to the jury and to the prosecution to obtain that first degree murder conviction. Now, the incident took place on May the 24th at 410 North Highland Avenue. The mother called 911 and she said that her son, Malachi Jackson, right there, unresponsive in his crib. That's according to the police, not according to my personal words. I know a lot of people be out there thinking like, would Jay just be making a lot of this stuff up? No, this is stuff you can go look up. Okay. It's according to court records. Now, paramedics rushed the baby to Morton Plant Hospital where he was pronounced dead. And he was 10 months old, excuse me, he was 10 months and 12 days old specifically. But the cause of Malachi's death remained undetermined for months, police said, while they were investigating the mother's version of events. Because obviously they're going to ask questions, you get to talking, and they try to figure out what actually makes sense, right? But the cause of Malachi's death remained undetermined. That changed this past week when detectives learned that Victoria Jackson, the mother, told a friend that she put a pillow over her baby's face and used it to asphyxiate her son, smothered him, choked him out, he suffocated. I'm gonna tell you guys something about this whole telling a friend thing. I get it, like I'm glad that it happened that way in this case, but I wanna give a shout out, a huge, a huge kudos to that friend that heard something and said something, because we always encourage if you see something, say something. These children can't speak for themselves, nor can they defend themselves against the tyranny of their own damn parents, right? And somebody had to do the right thing in this situation, and I'm glad that the friend recognized that this was the absolute right thing to do, okay? Homicide detectives brought the mother in for questioning on Friday, and they say that she confessed to suffocating her son. And you guys can see that small screenshot. She had almost reached her total uh, amount asking for $5,000.
So what that also means, what is our hashtag here in the AFC? Anybody want to guess? That's right. Babies for benefits. It's clear that this broad did not care about her son. It's clear that she only had this baby so that she can collect the benefits from him, whether it be child support, whether it be some type of welfare, government assistance, Title IV-D, whatever it is. But she definitely did not have this kid because she wanted to see him live to create a legacy so he could have a family, create a legacy. No, that's not what she had this kid for. You know what she had this kid for? To open up a damn GoFundMe for $5,000. I'm sorry, but in no shape, form, or fashion, no money is worth my kid's life. Let's make that clear. $5,000 is just, that's just even more harsh because of the actual number. That means like you literally did not give a damn about your kid, okay? Let's move on with the rest of the story. Police did not say what led to the mother smothering her son, but I've told you because they only have these kids for the benefits that they can collect from them. That's why. Or how the information reached detectives. Jackson set up a GoFundMe page for her son's funeral, which you guys saw the screenshot, and raised almost the whole $5,000 according to the WFTS in Tampa Bay. And she wrote this, this heinous woman wrote this in the GoFundMe. I want to give my son the best memorial service that I can. You can see part of it right here. He died last Friday. We don't know what the cause is yet. Really? We don't know what the cause is. Yeah. I woke up and he wasn't breathing and bloody foam coming from his nose. I've never been so heartbroken in my life. Please help me take care of my baby one last time. And think about the type of conscience, the type of conscience a person would have to have to know that they did this to their kid and still write out that bullshit kind of message on GoFundMe. Again, we keep talking about that this, this world is full of racist people, but yet it's funny how Everybody who contributed to that GoFundMe, which is which is shut down now, rightfully so, and those people's money has been refunded to them. The majority of those people, probably 99% of those people were these same people that we look at and say, well, those people is racist. It's the exact same people donating to your GoFundMe's. I've said that actually, if you guys have not checked out the Soto Outtakes channel, make sure you check that channel out. I left a very, very nice rant in that channel. Let's move on. Detectives with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office said that they learned on October 30th that Jackson had allegedly confessed to a friend that she intentionally asphyxiated her son, according to the affidavit, and investigators then orchestrated a controlled telephone call. Shout out to them. Shout out to them for that. I love that. They orchestrated a controlled telephone call to the mother in which she allegedly made incriminating statements involving her role in the death of Malachi. After she was arrested Friday, investigators say that she admitted to smothering him with a pillow. Investigators also noted that Jackson made suicidal statements after the confession that she potentially was suffering from mental health issues. Now I'll tell you guys this. I know that there are some people that didn't quite understand what my thoughts and feelings are on mental health, but I'll tell you guys this. I do believe that people do suffer from mental health issues. I just don't think that they should be parents. Did everybody catch that? I know that mental health issues do exist and it is a problem for a lot of Americans. If you are suffering from mental illness, I don't think that if you can't take care of yourself, I don't think you can take care of a kid properly. Okay. Now Jackson's GoFundMe fundraising page was taken down. Obviously 
GoFundMe issued refunds to those who donated, rightfully so. It's important to know that the platform is backed by the GoFundMe guarantee, which means all donors are fully protected by a refund policy. GoFundMe said in a statement. And I'm going to tell you people out there, because some of y'all know who y'all are. Whenever y'all see these so-called sob stories and y'all just get to just dumping money into these accounts when these people should actually have life insurance policies. Mm -hmm. All of these parents should have life insurance policies on their kids. If they don't, then I don't think the people should continue to allow people to get away with creating GoFundMes when they choose to be irresponsible with their own offspring, right? But on top of that, this should also be a yellow and a huge red flag, especially in her case, to not just start dumping GoFundMes into these people's sob stories. Look into them a little bit, research, give it a little time, wait, okay? Now, Mara Gonzalez said that she went to high school with Jackson and she's one of the donors who contributed to the GoFundMe because she knew her, which makes sense. Tragedy is a time where you believe, or, or excuse me, tragedy is a time where you need to be the most compassionate and loving and kind. And she totally took advantage of that. They, they made a big long run on sentence there. Sorry. And she told the news, but no one knew the real story of what happened other than her and whatever friend that she told. It was just kind of manipulative to the point she consistently reached out and consistently like, please donate to this, she added. Let me go ahead and give you guys the fair usage to let you take a look at the couple of news videos that were out there on this story. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use. It is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Also, guys, don't forget, as we're sharing in this story, please make sure you click the thumbs up, share this, and let other people know that we're here, okay? Let's go. A GoFundMe page has been taken down after the mother who set it up is accused of killing her child. Clearwater police arrested Victoria Jackson, you see there on your screen, after they say she put a pillow over her 10-month-old son's face. This happened back in May. Police confirm after her son's death, she started a GoFundMe that made over $4,000. Police say someone came forward after Jackson allegedly admitted to that crime. I go Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Isabel Rosales. First tonight, we're learning new details about a Clearwater mom accused of killing her own baby. ABC Action News learned she opened a GoFundMe page after the child's death that raised over $4,000. Our Haley Bull spoke exclusively with one of those donors. Haley. Is the police say Jackson started using this GoFundMe for funeral expenses and collected thousands of dollars for it. Tonight, that fundraiser is no longer online. That's what it looks like if you click on that link. Now, this all started back in May. Police say Jackson told them she found her baby, Malachi, unresponsive in his crib. The cause of death was undetermined while investigators worked to figure out what happened. This week, they say they learned Jackson told a friend she placed a pillow over the baby's face and asphyxiated him. Detectives say Jackson confessed to the crime Friday during questioning at police headquarters. People who donated and knew her in the past now learning the news this weekend. One person we talked with tonight saying the community should ask how it can grow from this tragedy. Tragedy is a time where it's like you need to be the most compassionate and loving and kind and she totally just took advantage of that. Um, no one knew the real story of what happened other than her and whatever friend that she told. Now, police charge Jackson with first degree murder. She had her first appearance in court today. She remains behind bars with no bond tonight. In the studio, Haley Bull, ABC Action News. News on News Channel 8. Good evening, I'm Keith Cape. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. We begin with breaking news. A mother arrested for an unthinkable crime. Clearwater police say Victoria Jackson put a pillow over her 10-month-old baby's face and smothered him to death. This happened back in May, but investigators say they just recently learned that she had confessed to a friend. Jackson faces a first-degree murder charge tonight. News on News Channel 8. This morning, a Clearwater woman is charged with killing her own child. Police say this woman, 24-year-old Victoria Jackson, admitted to putting a pillow over her son's face in May. 
Police say she told a friend and then confessed to officers at police headquarters yesterday. Michael, thank you. Also breaking tonight, a Clearwater woman facing murder charges in the death of her infant son. Police accuse Victoria Jackson of putting a pillow over that little boy's face until he could no longer breathe. Police say she has admitted to those unspeakable actions tonight and now behind bars at the Pinellas County Jail. Michael, thank you. Also breaking tonight, a Clearwater woman facing... All right, guys, that's basically what we have as far as the, um, the news stories and... It didn't get as much coverage as I think it should have gotten, but nonetheless, um, that little boy, I just can't understand how you can look into a face like that, a face so innocent, so smiling and clearly full of love and do something like that to him. That is just somebody that clearly did not, I, I don't understand how you can carry a baby for nine months, give birth to that baby, and then abuse that baby who can't speak for himself, cannot defend himself, and depends on you for everything that that kid gets. But I'm gonna tell you something that's even more egregious about this story. If it was that bad, if you didn't love the kid that much or didn't want the kid, the same dude that you laid down with, maybe give him an opportunity to be a father on his own and you can go about living your happy little life give up custody why is that never an option i'd love to hear more stories where mothers have literally said i don't want to do this i'm going to give the father not another family member not to cps or dhs or or some dropbox location or some crap like that give the fathers an opportunity to be a father i would love to have seen this little boy be in the hands of his dad and potentially grow, grow up to be something great. It's unfortunate that we'll never know what Malachi could have been. His mother, again, her name is Victoria Grace Jackson, 24 years old. She robbed the people of their money and she robbed her son of a future, a lineage, and a legacy. This is your boy DJ Just J. You see the t-shirt? We are the AFC. That means we advocate for children first. We'll see you guys on the next stream. Thank you so much. Per hands up. RIP young Malachi. And to hell with your mama. Guys have a great day.